welcome to it's Rafi. in today's video i am going to show you how you can do pra practical for python programming to do python program first of all you have to install python ideally or any ide which support python it can be vs code or default python ideally pycharm jupyter anaconda or any other I have I'm going to show you here by using Python default uh, default ideally so to open that we'll go to start it can be in Windows 7 also even in 10 also and if it is Windows 7 then you will go to all programs after all programs you will get one Python folder uh, like that Python folder and here whatever version installed in your computer that version you can see here and you will open that version and here different options are there python 3.1064 bit and one in white color one in black color black color one is console one you will open the white colored one so it will be like that now you will have to go to file and new file and here actually new file means what we are writing the program in script mode by default it is open in interpreter mode here we can write line by line for example suppose print 2 plus 3 will get output as 5 so you can see here we can do the program line by line if we want to write together we have to go new file then this window will open and if you want to do it full screen you can maximize it and let's come to the first program write a python program to accept land and breadth of a rectangle and calculate the area and parameter first uh, we'll accept the land l e n g t h equal we'll write in int means we are converting the value whatever user entered into integer then input within bracket we will write enter land then bracket two time close now again breadth we will have to collect breadth equal int and inside uh, bracket again i in input and here we will write enter breadth now we have to calculate the area so area equal we know that area is l into b so we will write land star to type the star you can press shift key and 8 key to shift and 8 together then the star will be pressed many of you might not know how to press how to type star in keyboard then breadth after that we will calculate the parameter for that parry equal we will write 2 into land and inside the bracket land plus breadth now we have to display the result for that we will write printf sorry print not printf and here we will write area equal quotation close after that we'll give a comma then we'll write area and bracket close again we'll repeat print statement print bracket here parameter equal quotation close one comma then parry and bracket close after completing the program, we will go to file menu, here we will save the program, save as and here we will select our folder where we want to save it, for example, suppose I want to save it on the desktop, then desktop and here the file name, I am keeping the file name as rectangle RECT, save, now we will go to run menu, here 
will have run module option so we'll click on run module so asking me to enter the land it's a uh, 5.5 and breadth as it is an invalid input because my input type was int but i have entered real variable or float variable so we are getting this error so we if we want to real number we can write instead of int float now let's check it again five six and the breadth as eight so the area is 48 and parameter is 28 now if we want a floating point number or decimal number then how we'll do just instead of int we'll write float now run the program it will ask me to save so save it now 5.5 .5 and it is 8.2 so here area is 45.0999 and parameter is 27.4 this way we can do the first program now let's move to the next program write a python program to accept marks of four subjects and display their total and percentage so we are removing the code of the previous program now we are going to do question number two we need uh, to accept marks of four subjects suppose our first subject is english so we'll write ENG equal here we'll write float because and we can write INT also be in board exam and all we are never getting mark like 92.1 92.3 that overall percentage can be in decimal but uh, the marks will be in integer only so we are writing INT and here again input and within quotation enter marks of english then bracket two time close now we have to accept four subject marks so we'll copy this line first we'll select then control and c to copy now we'll go to the next line and paste it three times one two three now just we'll change the subject name next subject we'll write maths and here also instead of english maths and uh, next one instead of english we can write science and here also science and here social science and in the message also social science now we'll calculate the total for that we'll take a variable name is total and write equal eng and you remember uh, while we taking the input our english was in small letters so in total also it should be in small also small only because the variable name are case sensitive if you write in capital it will treat it as a another variable so eng plus maths plus science plus ssc this is our total now we have to calculate the percentage also perc equal what we will do total divide as our subjects are 4 divide by 4 now we have to display the output so print statement print total equal then comma total and break it close again next line print here we'll write percentage equal comma percentage perc i don't keep the variable name is total uh, complete spelling that's why just the short form only now we'll save the file file save as 
and here we'll give the file name is percentage and save it now we'll have to execute the program for that run run module asking me to enter the marks of english 82 maths marks 76 science marks 80 and social science 78 you can see here total is 316 and percentage is 79.0 as we are dividing the number that's why we are getting just one automatically our percentage is converted into float now we are going to do question number three write a python program to calculate simple interest here in simple interest uh, what we have to collect principal rate and time so we'll need three variables first principal p r i n or p r just our principal variable and here you will write float then inside bracket input enter principal then bracket close two time will be close and next we need rate rate also will keep as a float only float because the rate can be 10 percent 10.2 percent like that input enter rate after that we'll have to collect time so time equal time will keep as an integer only int input enter time now we have to calculate the simple interest so we will keep the variable as si equal we will write bracket and bracket inside principal into rate into time and it will be divided by 100 we will get through this princip, uh, simple interest and to calculate the amount equal principal plus simple interest now we have to display the output so we will write print statement print simple interest equal si again print amount payable equal will write here amount now first we have to save the program so we'll go to file save as and here give the name as si now we have to execute for that run run module first asking me to enter the principal because it's uh, 15000.00 rupees rate it is 7.5 percent and the time it's a uh, 12 months so this one will be the answer simple interest is 13500 payable amount 28500 so this way we can do the answer of question number 3 now let's move to question 4 write a python program to accept a number and check if it is positive or negative for that first uh, we have to accept a number so int sorry num equal int and input here we'll write enter a number then we'll write the condition we are going to use if statement we'll write if 
num greater than 0. If it is greater than 0, what? Then it is positive. Print num comma is within quotation is positive. If it is not, then what? L if num less than 0, then it is negative. So, we are going to write print num is negative. Now, if it is neither greater nor smaller, then what will happen? For that, we are going to write else statement, else print you entered 0. Now, first we will save the program file save as file name will give as positive and for executing run, run module. Enter a number, it is a 8, 8 is positive. Again, let us run. Run module, enter a number 0, you entered 0. Then one more time, now we are going to enter a negative number, minus 5 minus 5 is negative. So, this way we can do the answer of question number 4. Now, let us move to the question number 5. Write a Python program to display the character of a string. Now, first we have to take a string. So, we will write like this 4 we will take a variable x in range. then we will write the character. Suppose it is welcome. Then we will write just print statement print and x. Just this much uh, save the file it's string. Now we are going to run the program run module. Sorry, we do not have to write range for x in welcome. Print x, then we will run the program, run module. So, we are getting w e l c o m e. And if we want to display all the character in just one line, so we can give that comma and equal. Just we can give a space and run module. <clears throat> now, we are getting the character in just one line. Now, if we want to accept the character from user, then what we will do? So, we will write a character ch equal, we will write here input, enter a character, 
enter a word <coughs> and instead of welcome we will write the variable name now let's run the program it's hello enter you can see here we are getting hello world so this way we can do the answer of question number 5 so these are the these are some common python programs which is required for practical examination this is uh, especially for class 7 and 8 level if you have any confusion regarding this program you can write in comment section thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye